Okay, having gone through uh, general application security and malware and the system development life cycle uh, and uh, database security, we've kind of saved the best for last or the worst. Um, web application security is where most of the problems are coming in these days. Um, sometimes it seems like uh, basically uh, nothing else is, is being reported or considered in terms of security uh, except for web application security. Unfortunately, um, it's another example, uh, well, uh, when we get into telecommunications and networking, um, there is the standard uh, fault, uh, complaint, that the internet was not made for uh, security, that, that nobody thought of security. Well, the internet was designed with security in mind, but it was designed with availability in mind. Um, and subsequently it got very widely used. And as the saying goes, when you uh, have a successful protocol, people will use it for things that you never intended and then will fault you for being short-sighted. Uh, so it's, you know, uh, the, the internet was, was built for availability. And in a sense, the web was built for availability as well. We are using it for the wrong thing, or, or we are using it for a variety of things that uh, it wasn't intended for, it wasn't created for. The, uh, the web, uh, first of all, uh, at, at base, this is a reference tool. This is, uh, you, you create a link in a document, you can quickly go to another document. Um, you know, that's what it's for. That's what the original intent was. It's uh, only for reference. It's um, uh, not for, uh, you know, securing, uh, looking at access control, checking identities. Um, it's not even intended as a uh, connected system, uh, which, you know, we've had to, to work around. Um, we, uh, it was originally intended simply as you, you go to this link, you find a, a link that you're interested in, you take that link, you go to another place. It's a single transaction. It's a, a single request for another document. Um, it wasn't meant to be a linked, connected, identified, uh, authenticated session. And, and that's what we're using it for nowadays. And, and we're using it, um, uh, we're using it for terminal emulation. Never intended for terminal emulation. Um, we are using it for uh, uh, commercial transactions. It was originally intended as a research tool. Uh, we are uh, we are using it for connected, authenticated sessions, and so we have to make additional uh, functions. We have to add features because we are asking the web to do more than it was originally intended to do. And as I, I keep on saying, in, in terms of system, design, architecture, uh, security, um, application development, uh, all of these things. You know, it, security is harder when you try to layer it on top of something than if you think, you know, design it in from the beginning. So, uh, we've got a variety of, of systems, a variety of applications, uses that we're putting the web to uh, and we're having to uh, 
add these security functions on to make up not for failings, but for the fact that we are using a, a tool for things it was never intended to do. Um, now, the majority of hacks these days that are being reported involve the web at some point. Um, it is the uh, easiest way to compromise hosts. You can get in. You are supposed to get in. It's for availability. It's to make a request of the system. And, and anytime you can make a request, we have to be careful that we aren't allowing further requests, that we aren't allowing requests that go beyond what we intended. So we've, we've got to uh, be careful of that. It's uh, the easiest way to compromise networks, of course, because it is network attachment. Um, it is intended uh, to go across networks. It's part of the internet. Um, it is widely accessible. It is supposed to be widely accessible. That's uh, that is, uh, you know, the, the point of the internet and then the point of the World Wide Web. It's supposed to be accessible to the world. Um, and uh, far too often, we don't have logs, at least not the right kind of logs. You know, we'll, we will have uh, simple logs that just, you know, every packet that hits the, the host. Well, you know, we've, we've got to identify, you know, which ones are, are allowed, which ones are unusual, um, which, which ones do we expect, uh, flag the ones that we don't expect, and uh, look at them and consider, okay, should we be allowing this or not? Um, how do we deal with that? So we, we need to uh, think about this, you know, all the time in terms of we are asking it to do something it wasn't intended to do. We need to have additional functions. We need to be careful about what those additional functions are. We need to be careful about collecting the information that's going to tell us what kind of attacks we are likely to face. And this is why web application security is the, the primary source of security problems right now.